Ejigi Kendaming, and the Shinabe Mung. Iwe, Kikudajin Damin, um, Nagae, Iwe de Bejik, uh, E. Uh, I mean, the Nakea, like Neen, being a Shween, Ween being a Shneen, Ween being a Skeen, Game being a Shween, me away, Kae, Kedijin the Mung. So, thanks everybody for coming here. Um, so today I'm going to share my stuff in a second, but we're just going to review some stuff that happened that was talked about last uh, last Thursday. Um, and then I was asked if I could do a quick um, uh, review of what I what I talked about on Tuesday. But um, if you have any questions about that to clear anything up, just type it in the chat and then I will respond to it. Naya, ah, the shke gai gegu wa wind munaguk gawin sanin in dawe sin awe ni minikwe. Naya, omada shwi naya, um, ninabish kawa naya nongum gawin we wain in okimagasunu nene iwe awasamo sub sub. Um, so today I'm replacing uh, Ni Bin Kwe um, just because uh, issues with uh, potential issues with internet. It seems okay today, but just in case she's here, I'm here. Um, we're going to bounce back and forth uh, for any questions that you guys might have. Um, but when it comes to loading the content, it will be from my screen. Um, yeah, okay, so I guess I'll share my screen now. Now, Gewabanda Nawa Dokewe, Newabanda Ewe, you guys, yeah, you can see it, eh? Thumbs up, thumbs sideways, all right, me much. Oh, Jagwadesh, Nangi Wani K, Jaan Jatu Yan Ewe, Newabanda Ewe, Ewe. But the Gwenigan, the first page, I forgot to change it. And the Shagusha, Nangija Wien Damin, Awe, the Wabinda Ewe Wenan. Generic cover thing, generic presentation, Gain Onjida, Gaja Chigayang. Yeah, so I already talked about, you know, like what we're going to cover today. That's what should go here is obviation, which, oh, so obviation, for those who don't know, is. Uh, aviation, for those who don't know, is um, a way of distinguishing who is the actor, uh, who the actors are in Ojibwe storytelling or di uh, discourse. So in English, you would say, oh, John is helping Timothy, right? And you just know who's being helped and who is doing the helping. But in Ojibwe, we use aviation to distinguish um, who is helping and who is being helped. And that's essentially what obviation means. Um, because if I said, oh, Timothy, Awido Kwan, Inyo, Ayin, Brandon, or if I said, uh, no, that's a bad example, <laughs> Timothy, Odamwan, Brandon. So if I just said that a speaker doesn't have any way of knowing who's eating who, it sounds like Brandon, it sounds like Timothy's eating Brandon, but it could be Tim Brandon's eating Timothy, or that was a weird verb. I don't know why I chose that one. Guy knows it, you know. Um, anyways, obviation. All right. Cool, cool. So, Misa Owe, in Nakanegewen, Gajiwin Jagadeg, Kowe, Gida Nimiko Dadimin, we welcome each other. Minoa Eko Nijing, uh minua ke wa waben de mang ga ga de shinchiga deg nigan ga pimiseg so we'll review what what was talked about last week okay min minua sa ewe squatch echo nissing ee aviation uh go dug yeah um kawe Oh, gay get gay away and da kid. Um, Anish Ningi Bugasenimigo, Jedijin de Manaway, 
Wabin that away when Nin Dashween, Bemikwe, Nin in the go, Ningi one eke, Jidijin de Zoyan, Nin Bemikwe, Kae Kevin, Ninatic, and Dijig Kenemigo. Um, yeah, Dick Nin and Dodem, Minjikining and Donjiba, E. Wadu Kadading, Kikinoma Diwigamik, and Dunanoki. Yeah, Eskinish na bemje gay. Um, no, we don't know key mag. Uh, yeah, give me no key to give it. Okay. <clears throat> oh, so my name's Kevin. Uh, I work at Wadu Kadading, and I always forget to translate that. And um, yeah, so that's a bit about me. Okay. Learning goals. Awakening. So for this section, it's um, a question that's going to be asked to you guys, like, and you can write down, you know, oh, I can do this, or I want to be able to learn this, or I want to be able to change this verb, or now I can change this verb. So those are kind of learning goals. So for example, when I go to full immersion, there's like a series of questions, uh, a series, uh, like three questions that I want to answer for myself, like, Oh, did I do this more? What could I have done to do this differently? And those are, those would be like my learning, your learning goals are, you know, what you can work on here. Okay. Um, change this. All right. So, uh, review aviation is required when there are two third person actors, right? Therefore, we have to name one a fourth person while the other remains a third person. So this example, Kevin is helping Neben. English totally jives, makes perfect sense. And Kevin is the third person, right? Because our focus is on what Kevin is doing. Neben is the one receiving the help. So Neben is the fourth person. Neben is the background information. <laughs> Therefore, we have to attach a suffix to both the verb and the fourth person to understand who is doing what. So what this looks like in practice, Kevin unad moan nibinan, right? So you can see um, the verb itself uh, is obviated with on, and then the, the uh, subject is obviated, nibin an, an. Uh, any questions about that? Kakwaid wewen na, gago na, giwi kakwaid jamim. Yeah, migo is a bija bi a mawishik. We kakwaid jam, we kakwaid jam in a, we kakwaid jam in a gago. Okay. Choosing the verb form. Sometimes the third person is the one doing the verb, and the fourth person is the one having the verb done to them. Therefore, choose the ah verb form. And so what you'll see what this means in a second. So, uh, or I guess, yeah, when you look in the dictionary, you'll find verb forms um, like VTAs. It'll be the verb and then ah behind it. And um, what essentially that means is like they are being acted on, they are being verbed. So if I looked in the dictionary for call, uh, na. That means he or she's being called. Yeah. Um, okay. Sometimes the fourth person is the one doing the verb, and the third person is the one having the verb done to them. Therefore, choose the agun or agun verb form. And um, it 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 really is uh, gon that is the fourth uh, person um, in these sentences. But uh, you'll see why. There's a going as well. And then this bubble. We are aware that Ojibwe syntax is flexible and this is another example of how we can change things around when we speak. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Oops, oops. Oh, Kevin. Yo. Did it work? What? I mean. Yeah, yeah, I was just going to add to um, why that bubble was there, because <laughs> I was having a hard time understanding why we have those um, different ways of obviating. Mm -hmm. Like last week, I think I said, uh, 
actually, I don't remember what I said, but I was wondering why we can obviate like that two different ways. Like, why would you um, have the fourth person being the, um, the actor? And then why sometimes would you have the third person being the actor? And that's something I wondered. So I just thought that maybe it's because uh, speakers often switch things around like that. I think maybe it depends on how the flow of the, the conversation is going or the storytelling perhaps. So that's why I put that little bubble there. That's all. Awesome. Mm -hmm. um, all right. We discovered that verb change endings. This happens when we go from saying I did something to someone to someone did something to me. So when you find verbs um, that end in ZH, a glottal, an M or an N, kind of like the stuff we talked about on Tuesday, they'll end with an ick or an egg. Just depends on um, where you're from, both are correct. And then verbs that end in glottal W change to an og, og. Uh, or it could probably sound like a ok as well. Um, and then verbs that end in o change to ok or og. So the o became becomes like a long uh, a vowel. Mm -hmm. So ganuna, she he is being called. I called him or her. Ngi ganuna, she called me. She to me. Ngi ganunik. Right. Nigikanunik or Nigikanunig. All right. Nadamawa. He or she is being helped. I help him or her. Nigi Nadamawa. She helped me. Nigi Nadmak. All right. Note also that the A before the W disappears in the AK form. Yes. Mikwendana. So that. Uh... Genona, the reason why it's classified as the ZH um, part up on top, that's because the command word for it is Genoj. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, oh, go ahead. green for nod would be like not a, not a mo. So that's what you were referring to at the top there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Depends on, um, I guess, where where you started learning, but some learners will learn BTAs from their command forms, and then others will learn them from their uh, indefinite actor forms, which means some will learn them from the commands, like GNUJ, and others will learn them from their uh, indefinite actor forms, GNUNA, uh, which means he or she is being verbed. In this, in this way, it's is being called. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I like the way you did it because the um, it helps make those changes, I think. And you can just look in a dictionary for the command form. Mm -hmm. Then you know which one to uh, which one to use. Okay. Oops. All right. Why does this do this now? Uh -huh. How to choose which word? So, um, review um, ah ending verbs. Actor third person is verbing uh, your fourth person. Kevin Nadmoan Nibanan. Kevin is helping Neven. So if your fourth person is your focus, uh, your actor, Kevin, uh, Montian, Megun, Kevin. So Monty is the one doing the asking, right? And that's when you use your Goon. So are your Goon to represent fourth on third? Um, let's go look at the chat here. It's blowing up. Mage, we the mage on. Okay, yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, so um, 
Yeah, so speakers will often flip-flop between who's the, you know, who gets the attention in their story, depending on why, like what emphasis they want to put on them in that moment. Uh, or instances where you're, it just makes more sense to use, um, you know, fourth on third. Uh, like the example I gave last week is, uh, you know, his grandmother asked him, Okuma son, oki kakuejime gon, right? Otherwise, there's not really a way, an easier way to say that. So that's, you know, another um, instance where you would have to use that. Um, yeah. And if, yeah, if you have any questions about that, just fire them off. Um, or if anyone wants to step in. Third person is the actor. Okay, I won't talk about this too much, but in Eastern Ojibwe Odawa, it, uh, for third person and fourth person, it's, um, you'll hear an on, right? Gnu um, an and oftentimes, so a long time ago, there would have been a W in front of that. And even further back from that, it would have been an O. Uh, O's and W's are the same sound. Um, w is the last like 25% of an O sound. And so that's why in dictionaries, you'll see that the linguists from long ago wrote W's because the speakers were just losing their O's. Um, some words you can still hear it for sure. Uh, but as learners, and our ears, when our ears aren't quite as tuned yet, it'll just sound like on, on a lot of time. Um, and so that's why I put O and W there because that's your third person and your on is your fourth person. Um, yeah, so using GNU and uh, he or she's being called, changes to GNU and on, right? GNU and on. Gwejima, he is being asked, Changes to Gwejiman. Mina, he is being given. Changes to Minan. Nundawa, uh, he's being heard. Changes to Nundawan. What was that? What was that? Um, Nadmoa, here, here she's being helped. Changes to Nadmoan. And then Gekinomoa, here she's being uh, taught. Changes to Gikino uh, Mawan, right? So what it is, is you're taking your base verb, right? Your Kwejim, your imperative verb. Kwejim, Mij, Gikino Mo, Nadamo, and you're adding the on on the end of it, um, signifying third on fourth. Yeah, okay. Okay, now when fourth person is the actor, same thing in the beginning. Uh, depending on your dialect, um, but it's always gone for the ending, right? Gununa is being called, changes to Gunun Gun, right? Gunun Gun. Kwejima is being asked, changes to Kwejim Gun, Kwejim Gun. And then Mina changes to Min Gun. Nundwa changes to noon dog noon or uh, my my dialect would say noon dagun or noon dagun same with nadamawa changes to nadamagun 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 kikinomo kikinomoa changes to kikinomagun kikinomagun with your local dialect respectively does third and fourth plural work that way too? The endings depends, depends on your dialect. So uh, does third and fourth person plural work? So third person plural um, onto fourth person singular. Um, I just go back here. So it's on in the ending and your third person sing, your third person plural the plural of your third person is always represented as a wa on the VTA paradigm. So, and it gets included um, before the a. Uh, so it looks like this. Oh, uh, one, oh, noon, uh, one. So the 
paradigm is O uh, one or uh, one, um, and they are talking to fourth person singular, Okanuna one, Okanuna one. Um, yeah. And again, it depends on your dialect for fourth person because most Eastern dialects and Southern Ojibwe as well, like Southern uh, Minnesota, Wisconsin, they don't use uh, fourth person uh, plural aviation. So fourth person, pl fourth person plural. And, but what that is represented by is a glottal. Oops. And so what that sounds like in practice is um, like, so they're talking to those guys, Ogakunu na wa, inu inine wa. Yeah, actually they wouldn't say inu, they would say iu. Ogakunu na wa, iu inine wa. And that looks like this. So, more for sure northern dialects this is how they would say third person plural are talking to fourth person plural but if you live in the east and the south it's just kanuna wan inu in in one those guys are talking to those men and just depending on the context of the rest of the conversation you have to dis dis discern whether fourth person is plural or singular um, yeah, when I was learning, it wasn't, it wasn't easy at all. Um, when listening to speakers, uh, from my end anyway, I didn't find it easy, but, um, yeah, you just have to kind of navigate that conversation and, um, that'll give you an idea of, uh, how many fourth people there are. Are we in Bowing in that dialect group? I'm not sure, sorry, I'm not sure what that means. Bauting? Sue, so, oh yeah, yeah. So I think um, Eastern Ojibwe Odawa is like from Bauting all the way to, yeah. And then Gikunu na Gowan, yeah, so. Kevin, yeah, they called Kevin. Keep canoeing now on Kevin. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So I think that answers your question. <laughs> this depends on where you're from, I guess. Because uh, some dialects don't don't do that. Aviation, plural. It okay. I did this one. And I don't think I did this one yet. So some examples using full on sentences also. Rochellan Gikuknuan Nieben. Right? Nieben called Rochelle. And we know Nieben is the one that called Rochelle because Nieben isn't obviated. Rochelle is obviated. Rochelle Lun. And this goes back to what was said on the third slide, I think, uh, the bubble of Ojibwe syntax, right? Uh, I can't speak on syntax too much because it's not really figured out yet for Ojibwe, but it, um, you know, I can say that it's relatively flexible for sure. Um, uh, yeah. So you can move them around, in other words. Yeah, you can say Nibin, Okikunuanan, Rochellan, Rochellan, Okikunuanan, Nibin, and it means the same thing. <clears throat> Another example with the A, uh, Mantian, Gikakwejiman, Keith, right? So uh, Keith asked, uh, so this, this should be uh, Keith asked Monty, right? So Monty is your fourth person. And Keith is your third person, right? And Keith is not obviated, so that's how we know he's a third person. Montian, Kwejman, Keithan. I missed that when I was editing. Um, all right, so now using your IG 
or Egun or Egon, right? Uh, your fourth person is your uh, is your focus. Uh, Rochelle Lun, Ogi Kanu and Egun, Nibin. Now Rochelle is the one who called Nibin, right? Rochelle is our obviated uh, person, our obviated subject. And we had to uh, use uh, fourth to third person verb paradigm, which is Ogi or O Gun, right? O Gun. Rochelle on Oki Kununagun, Nibin. Rochelle called Nibin. Nibin was called by Rochelle. Okay. Mantian, Oki Kwejimigun, Keith. Right? Keith was asked by Monty. Yeah. Keith was asked by Monty. Um, Monty is obviated. Keith is not. Keith is our fourth guy. Uh, Monty is our fourth guy. And. Uh, he asked Keith. Yeah. Any questions? Well, it's pretty good. But yeah, that's exactly the example right there of why I was asking oh, Jake, uh, why? Why is this happening? Why does it have to happen? <laughs> like, why why couldn't we just stick to the the ones on the left column? Oh, but yeah. it just it just boils down to that's just how people speak. Yeah. <laughs> Just, just the way it is. <laughs> Can't do anything about it. Yeah. Uh, oh, Wabashko Mayingan, Daga, Kikwaji Mission, Mingwach Umbinikanian. So, when I was doing these, because um, we had a Pagadamo uh, activity where we threw a ball to the person we're speaking to. To, and then like to another person, Ween, uh, and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. The way I remembered it was, it's kind of the same as like those slides a few back where it was like, uh, I don't know, Ngi, oh, yeah, Ngi Gnona, Ngi Gnonik. So in my mind, I was picturing, okay, I've got the person in front of me. And then I got this third person off to the side. So in no na, that's the person off. I'm doing, I'm verbing this person off to the side. And then in no nick, that this person off to the side is verbing me. So then the fourth person, I just put them like a little further in my mind off to the side. And it's that same na, nick uh, relationship but between those two now. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's kind of like how I remembered it anyway. Yeah, for sure. That's a good way to remember it. I like Kevin Ninatig's. Hmm. Is that my example or Ninatig's example? Not too sure. Because <laughs> they're both capitalized. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, oh, miigwech, miigwech. Uh, who the attention is on. Yeah, so in storytelling, um, uh, what's, uh, miigwenabikwe, she gave me the example of like, if you're telling a story and the story is happening on like the floor kind of thing, or on a wall, and you have a flashlight and you're p pointing to the main characters, whoever you want the focus to be on is where you have the flashlight. And that's what's happening when you change who the third, who the actor is, who the goal is, yeah, who the attention is on. Hope that makes sense. Okay. Okay. So, and this is something I did last second. I didn't, it's not as jazzed up as I would have liked to, liked to have to been, like to have it to been. I don't know how to say that. Um, so how are these two examples different? And So if anybody's got the answer, type it in chat. If anybody wants to give that a shot, how they're different, then fire away. Otherwise, I'll just type it in 
few minutes or 30 seconds. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sana Nail nailed it. So the person who's hungry is different, right? So that first sentence, which has a mis I accidentally put two A's. It should be only one after the SH. But um Ogia Shaman in New York Wanzian Gi Bukadanid Awakwe. Right. So in this sentence, it's the old man who's hungry. And she she fed him, right? When he was hungry, the old man. In the second sentence, Ogia Shiman in New Akiwanzian Gi Bukadid Aawakwe. So the woman, so she fed him when she was hungry, right? Um, yeah. So we haven't talked about aviation on VA, VAIs, right? There's aviation uh, on every verb type. Um, and I was hoping that we could get into that today. Uh, what time is it? Yeah, on like VAI verbs. Um, you guys want but um, yeah this is a good good example of how you know where the obviation is greatly changes like what the sentence is it was not him who's hungry now it's her who's hungry cool questions okay negation adding scene so if you're a senior you're gonna add an n on that if you're not you just say c um i happen to be a senior so your first one gnuna he's being called gawin gnuna sin rochellen neven oh gawin gnuna sin rochellen neven right neven didn't call rochelle um neven is not obviated. She's our actor. Rochelle Lynn is our fourth person. Right. Gawin, Uki, Gnu, Nasin, Rochelle Lynn, even. And again, you can throw that. You can kind of rearrange that. Um, but this is how I would expect to hear it from a speaker. Yeah. Pretty rarely will the. Um, uh, subject be first in something like this but yeah so that's how I would expect to hear it Keith right Keith didn't ask Monty Keith not did ask him didn't Monty <laughs> Keith didn't ask Monty Again, uh, yeah. And again, Gnuna. But this time we're going to use uh, uh, fourth person as the attention getter, attention receiver, who has the attention. Gawin Ogika Gnuna Gosin, Rochelle Lan Neven. Right? Rochelle didn't call Neven. Um, before I move on from that, um, I wanted to add more to this because um, it's just this one slide. But, okay, so I'm gonna, oops, I'm gonna stop sharing real quick. And and one sec, sorry. All right, if you all got a verb, a VTA, uh, feel free to type it in the chat so we can use it.
All right, what do we got here? <clears throat> Mikola, he is found. We got visit Nishi. Jeez, just real, real dark over there. Halloween. All right, what else we got? Is there another word for that? Mudsa, Nibwancha, Mawadishi. It's a few different words for saying visit. Um, let's go see. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Share screen. There. All right. Wait. Not full screen. Aha. Uh -huh. So we've got our Miko. Find him or her. Mikoa. He or she is found. Gawain, Kevin. Ogi, Mikoa, Sin, Montian. Right. So, Gawain, Kevin, Hogi, Mikawa, Sin, Montian. Our fourth dude is Monty. Our third one is Kevin. Monty is obviated. Right. And then Nissa, he's being killed. Um, Gawain, Hogi, Nisagu, Sin, Kevin, Nibinan. Right. So, Niban didn't kill Kevin. A way Gwen. Yeah. Got Nissa Gwen in new Kevin on. Like I wonder I wonder who killed Kevin. Ga Ogi Nisagu seen Kevin Nibinan. Alright. Nibwacha a he or she's being visited. Um Ga Awid Nibwacha a seen how Kevin on Niban. Right. So this one's a little janky purposefully. So Gawain Awi Nibwacha a seen how Kevin on Nibin. So I don't think I would, I don't know, maybe you'd hear this. Maybe. I don't know. But um, the all is associated with Nibin here. Or you would say, you might say wa. Wa. Wa Nibin. Right. And then Kevin on's in the middle. But if you said this, it's still understood because we know the important thing here is who's obviated, right? Um who's obviated and who isn't. So by this way, we know that Neben doesn't want to visit Kevin, right? That's the thing that's happening there. And yeah, going to we watch our scene. And oops, oops. Wabish ko maingan, mijish. Yeah, right. Okay, obviation further explored in VTAs. All right. Oh, sorry. Uh, I saw the other one. We do co. <clears throat> All right. So we do co is going to change a little bit, right? Because it's got that 
um, all ending. It'll change where one fourth is the actor. We do go. We do koa. He or she's being helped. If your community says we do ko. Gawin. We we do kagusin. Inir. Inin one. Oh. Oh. Kevin. So that gawin. We we do kagusin. In you and anyone, I'll oh, Kevin. That man doesn't want to help Kevin, right? Going, we we do go see. In you and anyone, I'll oh, Kevin. Um, and yeah, I think that was all of them. Okay, moving on. <clears throat> do, do, do. Okay, so here's some weird ones. Uh, so I don't know if you guys ever picked up on this, or you probably have, or maybe you wait. How do I want to start this? Um, okay, I'm going to type something in, and I'm going to ask, I'm going to see what you're, who can translate it, if you want to translate it. Um, okay. Okay. I was typing in Ojibwe, sorry. Um, he cooked, but they, wait, they cooked me some potatoes. Did I spell that right? Is potatoes with like toes, like on our feet? Is that how you spell it? Or is it with an O-S? How do you spell potatoes? <laughs> yeah, I spell potatoes. Hmm? How do you spell potatoes? P-O-T-A-T-O-E-S, like it's plural. Okay, so it is with like a, with like your toes on your feet. Okay, so <clears throat> no E on singular. Oh, that's what the rule is. All right, miigwech zagate. <laughs> okay, so who's got this translation? They cooked me some potatoes. Who's got that? If you don't know the, so the word for cook for him or her, gizisamao. Or you might have a different one, but whatever. Use, use whatever word. <clears throat> Let's see those translations. Million degrees in here. Or it's another one. I'm trying to think of another example I could give. They cooked me some potatoes. Um, I I gave him a potato. You can translate, I gave him a potato. We know why, Nigi Zisamaguk Panik, and then the new Nigi Kizisama Kizisamagun. Yep. I forgot to say potatoes. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right. So All right. So Sena, uh it's going to use your answer real quick. So if, if we add panique to your answer, anind 
Penik, Inu, Ogi Gizis, Magawan, right? It sounds like, yeah, so they cooked, he cooked those potatoes, right? And then, Wabishko Maingan, Winawa, Ngi, Sisamaguk, Penik. Yeah. So, uh, what I was trying to elicit, I guess, is um, obviation in a way that you might not think about every now and then. So, debating whether or not to give you examples here. Okay, so example, uh, when I'm interacting with somebody else, like if I'm talking to him or her about his or her or another thing, right? If I'm talking about him or her, him or her is third person, and then the other thing is still fourth person, right? So if I said, I gave him a potato, ngimina opinin, right? Ngimina opinin. That potato's got to be fourth, has to be obviated. If, if, even if I said, I gave him potatoes, ngimina opinin, it's still opinin, unless your dialect has fourth person plural, which is ngimina opinin. Another common one too is, he gave me tobacco, right? A seiman ngi minik. So third person gave me tobacco. Tobacco in this instance, because it's animate, is your fourth thing. So ngi minik, a seiman. So, or a seiman ngi minik, right? So these are things you might not think about it every now or every day, but um, yeah, they're, that's another way you have to obviate things in, in our conversations. So some examples I found. So, a kikun ngi mina mige agunajin. So I gave him a pot, right? So ngi, I, past tense, mean, gave him a, uh, I gave that third person um, a kikun because a kick is animate. It's uh, obviated to un. A kikun mi ge agunajin. So specific that the ones he will hang, right? So I gave him pots to hang. Yeah. A kikun ngi mina. So even though it's not third person, we're not necessarily talking about like third on fourth and fourth on third fourth person is still very much there when you're talking like this but we don't i, I don't really hear this you know in our in our groups another one so what what he's saying here is um I'm thankful for this girl for handing me tobacco uh, to so I could say a prayer, right? Nami guacha wenama away, right? Me to third person. Quasance is our third person. A same on. Tobacco is our fourth person. Even if it's like happening right there in the moment, like even in the moment right now, if I'm if there's an elder right beside me and he wanted to give me tobacco or something or I want to give him tobacco, right? And then I was talking to this guy right after. Oh yeah, ngimina a seiman, right? I gave him tobacco. Ngimina a seiman. Yeah. And then another one this is something that um, from Nadazukan when. Uh, Ogish Kimanisin was talking to Wena Bush and he says, Mi ganin heu gaje ayad al gedujim. Ogima mishibiji ogi odapina ninu gedujiman. Right? So this is the this is the, the juicy part right here. Gedujiman. So gedujim is your nephew, right? But he's talking to him face to face, right? Uh, or hand to face, and he's saying, your fourth person who is your nephew because your third third person they're talking about is mishibiji or mishibiju and he's saying your yeah your nephew who is also fourth person 
but he's your nephew, Gedujiman. So I've heard this quite a bit too, where people will say, you know, blah, 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 Gedan, and your fourth, your daughter, who's the fourth person in this story, right? Gedan, and Gedan is your daughter, or some people say Gedanus. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, and so this is another one that we don't often catch is like, is in our stories when we want to say that, you know, if, if I want to say, oh, he talked to your dad today, you know, or gusan, yeah, yeah, so it's third, third on fourth still, but your fourth, if your fourth person is your dependent noun, uh, animate, then it, it's still, you know, uh, person marker, ne, ge, or o, and then your uh, obviation on the end. Um, yeah. Do you guys have any questions on that? Is that clear, kind of what I'm talking about? <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, da, 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 Okay. Can you type out how you would write, they cooked me some potatoes? Okay, sorry, I should have typed that out. <laughs> All right, so, opinin ngi gizis maguk, right? So, opinin ngi gizis maguk. So, yeah, opinin is our fourth person right because potatoes are animate and then they cooked for me ngi giza samaguk if i said openig ngi giza samaguk what i'm saying is those potatoes cook something for me right and it just doesn't this doesn't make any sense so um clear but not sticking without practice yes okay 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 uh how um ba -ba -ba -ba. Right. Can you type? So another example. Mm. So how would you say he gave you some cigarettes? Let's see some translations. Oh, so the word for, there's two words for cigarettes. There's opoaganansun or opoaganansuk, and then there's a a seimansuk. So whatever word you want to use. He gave you tobacco. He gave you cigarettes. He gave you cigarettes. Or what I'll do is uh Nikki Do, do. Yeah, there you go. Sea beans koi. Gigi mi nik, same on sun. Yeah. Bidanaquit, same on sun. Ningi mi nik. That's uh, he gave me uh, tobacco. And that's exactly still how you would say that. You would still need to obviate the uh, same, right? Um, and then, wabashko maingan, same on, gigi mi nik. Yeah. Exactly. So your third person is in your, uh, is in your, um, um, your verb conjugation, right? And gi me nick, he gave it to me. And then your fourth animate thing, the same on. Ki me nick, zin da kugansan. Oh, that, yeah, that's another word for uh, cigarettes. Yeah. 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 Or uh, it's similar to the word for snuff, uh, not snuff. Uh, yeah, what's that? What's that? Uh, chewing tobacco? What is that? Anyways, there's a similar word like that for chewing tobacco. Um, let's see, come on. Give me a nick. Yeah. Okay, so another example. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Shtaha, how fascinating. Yes, yes, most fascinating. Um, 
So how would you say he called your dad? He called your dad or he called your mom, whatever you want to use. He called your dad, he called your mom. And um, for help, use a, use a slide that I have on the screen there. Yeah, your dad, your mom, he called, he called your dad, he called your mom. Kikunan usan gusan yeah yeah zibins koe kikunan usan gusan yeah goose yeah that's it kududuman kikunan nailed it bidanakod that's what we say in my community too then dudum right then dudum um, yeah and yeah so. Yeah, I think you guys got it, right? It's just, uh, so whatever you're saying is like my relative and then your unobviation on the end of it. So instead of saying like how you would say his father, o son, right? You're saying no son or go son or nindodoman, gadodoman, whatever. Um, but what's important to remember is, uh, yeah, this exists to tell the speaker uh, you know, your, your fourth person, even though you, it's like, who's the fourth person that's getting, uh, verbed, right? Cause if it was, we still run into the problem of who's taking him and who's getting taken. Right. <clears throat> and, uh, like you would have that problem with Brandon, we don't know if, the bread is eating Brandon or Brandon's eating the bread, right? Same situation. We always need obviation there. Um, yeah. And yeah, that's kind of like the end. So we have a lot of time left for more practice or other questions you might have. Um, or we can, yeah, let's take a break for like three minutes. Oh, Mino de Bishkan be Donaquid. Wah. Yeah, Mino de Bishkan, Gidigu. Wah. Mino is a go and good walk and dust of a bonagazian. Oh, wah. Is a go and good walk. Dust of a bone, win. Nibin Quay. Oh, even quay, uh, Nigo is a yayan. Oh, I'm gonna even quay, the nun do to mag, Bakish and waving. Midash gage in Nagamayan. Away, Nagaman, Gapamija, the way, and any Niganabine saying end. Um, Kawai, Ngabunitun, recording. I can't tell what that is. I should the KL. Going <laughs> Gago.
Kahoot? Question mark? Kahoot? Kahoot? way B again. Hmm. I didn't set up Kahoot. Hmm. I don't have that. I don't think I could set that up in time. But that would have been a good idea for obviation. If I set up Kahoot. Oh. Even quay. Oh yeah, it does sound like who. That's what I thought it was. Yeah, so uh, I don't know if you guys any got, got any questions, any other questions. It doesn't necessarily have to be about what we just talked about. If you got any questions about anything else, um, there's a lot of good people in here, really smart people in here, I'm sure, come up with some answer of some kind. What about my Tuesday class? Hi, Norman Omaya. Gain on Jada Niji, Jayagna Shimoyan. Gain go Wika, Ginundo, Sin Jagna Shimoyan. Esa. Minago Mano, Jagna Shimoyan. If you were here for my Tuesday class, where we talked about reflexives and red duplicates. Or um, do you guys know about delayed commands? You wanna learn about delayed commands? Con. Con! Bungie at the Z means square. All right. Well, buckle up. It's about to get wild in here. I think. All right. So, uh, I don't have any resources handy, so I'm just going to type in everything in chat, I guess. Or wait, maybe I can, maybe I can do it in here. Oh, guy no jada niji, hi. Ba. Ah, guy gets maybe shagana shin. Oh yeah. Miigwech Norman. Yeah, miigwech niji. Me to go. Okay, and the Shinabe Moyan. How delayed command is in a Kadego, eh? And the Jaganashima. Monty Magehi the second. Monty Magehi the second. We been the gay. Jigodashamaya. Oh, Majaduk. Okay, so delayed commands. Uh, what, what Essentially, what they are is they are commands, right? Um, but you're telling them, you're telling somebody to do it at a later time. So an example would be like, um, eat when you're done, uh, when you're done cleaning, right? 
And what that sounds like is Wisani Kun Ishkwa Binichigayan. So you're not telling them to eat right now. You're saying eat later at a later time, delayed when you're finished cleaning. Uh, okay, and so for VAIs, what they look like is for Kung and Kung. Okay, so that's what they are uh, for VAIs, for you singular, you plural, and then us. Let's all do it. And you know what's crazy is they're all. Hi. Yeah, yeah, gay abe. Ne recorded with you gay. Ne she ne nabe ne naba te sijige. Ne naba te sijige. Yeah. Uh, kun ke kung. So what's crazy about the delayed commands is they're all V A I or they're all um like the V A I endings, right? So of uh, B form. So we sini yun. We send the egg and we send the young, right? And that's what they all are, just with a K. And that's how they all exist on every paradigm, uh, with the exception of VIIs, of course. So, but there's something you should know about how they conjugate. So if we take we send it, um, if it ends in a short vowel, the short vowel gets elongated. So we send the kun, we send the kun. We sneak on, we sneak on, right? So eat later, eat at a later time. Or another example I heard it, a speaker said, Bikanuja she kun, Bikanuja she kun, give me a call later. You know, Bikanuja she kun, give me a call later. So for VTAs, uh, time. Telling somebody to do it later, right? Um, we in the mo, or I'll just do this. Uh, kun, oops. Uh, wait, what the heck? Oh, yeah. uh, keg and uh, kung, right? So those are your equivalent of being like all you guys, like we in the moa kun, tell him later. We in the moa keg, tell you all tell him later and let's all tell him later winda moa kung right beja kun minua come again yeah right beja kun minua don't come right now come at a later time beja kun yeah beja kun um ba -ba 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 -ba. so okay so with vais with short vowels they elongate um but if it's the long vowel already, then it doesn't. So bim but two or mipto bim but two kun bim but two keg bim but two kung. So run later. Uh, Y'all run later. Let's all run later. Yeah. And what else? What else? What else? What's another like? Um, okay. Noon dog was. Oh no, that's already. What's another. Okay. I can't think of another VAI, but Unzo is. He or she is uh, boiling, like boiled kind of thing, being cooked. Onzo onzo keg onzo kung. So this doesn't make any sense, but I can't think of another VAI unless you guys got one that ends with a single O. Leave. Okay. So onzu kun onzu kun. So boil later. Doesn't make any sense, but if it ends in a short O, it gets elongated. Right? Um yeah. And what else here? Oh, okay. So with V, okay, no key. Yeah. Or no, key. no key can work later. No key keg. Yeah. And so VTIs, 
same thing. Bugazo, ah, oh, perfect. Yeah, Bugazo. Bugazoo Kun, Bugazoo Keg. Yeah, Nishke, Bugazoo Kung. Let's all swim later. Um, so VTIs, Min Wen Dun, like it. Min Wen the Moo Kun, Min Wen the Moo Kun. Oh, Ikido. Why didn't I? <laughs> I should, oh, man. Z beans coming in strong. Min Wen the Moo Keg. In when the moo kung. All right, so be happy later. Let's all be happy later. So with VTI is min when done, um, it becomes an M and uh, the there's, there's actually an O there, but it becomes elongated again. And so if the VTI ends in an O, like bean it tune, bean it tune. Becomes bean it to kun, bean it to keg, and bean it to kung, right? Uh, yeah. And if the VI, VTI ends in an I, like na din and mi jin, na di kun, na di, na di keg, na di kung. And that's the pattern for those. Um, yeah. What else? That's like basically, you know, delayed commands. Um, v A V I V T A's to me shin. Okay. V T A's to me. Uh, Wien the mo she kun. Wien the mo she cake. Yeah, we need to she can tell me later. Y'all tell me later. Y'all tell us later. Yeah. It's uh. Yeah, so we need to motion that I gets elongated. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah. I think that's it for delayed commands. Right? Yeah. <clears throat> but they're pretty pretty straightforward. They're just another set of command types that you have to remember. Um, yeah, because they come up every now and then. All right, got a few more minutes left. What else do we want to go through? Cool, 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 cool. Spend a minute or two on eduk, eduk, edik, as some would say, edik. Uh, uh, okay. So, eduk, your dogs, your dogs. Basically, just your, um, uh, it's kind of like a wonder particle or uncertainty particle. Like, you don't really know, um, you know, or when you want to say must, but it's also, um, it's also like, yeah, I don't know. I wonder if, I wonder that, uh, that's kind of what. That's the purpose for dogs, uh, dogs, dogs, and dick, and e dick, and um, those kind of things. So, an example, like you know, um, hmm. me dokaja ga winda mawa gwen. You know, he must, he might have already told me. I guess I don't, uh, I don't remember. He might have already told me. You know. Egwen is your 
him to me. Um, you know, Amanja Saidok Enenema Waden. I wonder what you think of him. You know, I wonder what you think of him. Uh, or I don't know what you think of him. I only feel comfortable using it like Dibi Eduk or P Eduk. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, there is. Yeah, like getting your feet in the water with those ones is really good because you can say stuff like, uh, so your Anin becomes a Munch, right? Your Waganen becomes a Wagadagwen. Your Ande or Apish becomes a Dibe. Your Anin a P becomes a Munch, go, uh, a munch P and so on. Uh, and if you use Go for any of those, you can say like, Oh, a wega de guena go. Like, yeah, I really don't know what or whatever, or dibe go, like wherever. Um, yeah. Nemanji iduk. Yeah, nemanji iduk. I don't know what. Yeah. And it can also be, if you throw a sa in there, it sounds like really rude. So if somebody's like, I don't know, in your ear a whole lot, and then they're asking you all these questions, you'd be like, nemanji sa, and then that just like leaves them like, and you can just walk away. That sounds like really rude or really like you had enough of them kind of thing. You had enough of them and you're like, I don't know. God damn it. I don't, I don't know. And that's it. Um, I'm sure I got something written down for that. Uh, dogs. Yeah, so you can say things like a wega de gwen go, whatever, wegwen go, wegwen go. Your a wen in becomes a wegwen. Um, yeah, uh, whoever, divigo, wherever, a munchko pee, whenever. Yeah, in bakwe, in bakwe, bakkeju went on. One way they use it, just a form, eduk, nebago eduk. He must be asleep. Yeah, so you can use it like that. And you can also, so there's two ways to use your, you can two, there's two ways to use it. You can use eduk or you can um, use the suffix of, do, of dok. So you can say nebaduk or neba, neba eduk. There's some dialects, like when I was uh, in Wisconsin, um, I worked a lot with this linguist and he showed me all these patterns that are happening there. And in his, in his area, they're just not using the um, suffixes, the paradigm for dubitatives at all, and they're just using eduk for everything. And they're kind of losing uh, all those, um, the paradigms. So you can say nebaduk, you must be asleep, or you can say neba eduk, or nebago eduk to really emphasize it. Um, yeah. Uh, and then, so the paradigm for VAIs is, if I'm saying, if I'm using we, uh, neba, it, well, let's say, I'll use bakade. Nebakade naduk, you know, I'm, I must be hungry, you know, maybe I'm hungry. There's that doubt or uncertainty or whatever. Uh, give bakade naduk, bakade duk, for third person singular, third person plural, bakade dogwe nuk, right? And then fourth person, bakade dogwe nun. Um, me and my dudes, not you. Nebukade Minaduk, Gibukade Minaduk for all of us. Um, and then all of y'all, Gibukade Waduk. And then indefinite actor, Bukade Waduk. Yeah, just Bukade Waduk. So it's, it's basically the exact same pattern. The exact same paradigm as VAI is just you're adding aduk um, to everything, uh, with the exception of third person singular and plural. Those ones are weird, but um, they yeah. So, and then B form is kind of even easier. You're just taking you're changing the Y that you would normally hear and switching with a W, um, but not every dialect uses that. And then you're adding N on the end of it. So bakade uh, yan N or bakade wan N. Bukade one in, uh, Bukade Gwen for him or her, uh, Bukade Wagwen for them, Bukade Wangen for all of us, uh, Bukade Wangen 
bucket day wagon for you guys. Uh, yeah, bucket day wingen for indefinite actor. So they're, they're, the pattern is the same as any VAI A form, B form. You just got to sit down with it one day and just go through with it and it'll it'll stick there because it's like the same as VAI A form, B form. Yeah, but then, but yeah. And I would even say, yeah, I, I shouldn't say this because I'm not totally comfortable with the, the whole paradigm, but I feel comfortable saying that like learning the paradigms is like, to me, feels like the easy part of Ojibwe because it's just memorization, right? And then once you memorize a certain amount of, of the paradigms, they all click. All the sounds are the same. You just gotta, you just gotta know, you know, when to change them. And yeah, so uh, like once I learned the VAI, the VTA paradigm, it was easier to include the buns and then the dugs. Like even though there's so many more, like there's over, there's almost 200 ways to change a VTA. They get easier the more paradigms you try to put into your brain. Like, yeah, even though I don't know them all, I know a good portion of them. And I could probably guess the ones I don't know, but um, yeah. So once you get your dogs and your buns, they all come together. Um, in the VTA paradigm. Yeah. Miyaja, got Mekwena Ma Wagwen, and Neo Niniwan. Like, oh, he must have thought of him. You know, now he must have, he must, have, they must have thought of him now. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Is the Wadu Kodadi you refer to the same one in Wisconsin? Yes. That is the, Ojibwe Immersion School that I currently work at. Wadu Kodani. Any resources you would recommend for practicing memorization, memorizing paradigms? Yeah, so um, resources for practicing memorizing them. Um, I will put, uh, if so if follow the Facebook page and I'll put on some res resources on there. Uh, but one thing that I know helps a lot of learners is like sitting with other learners and practicing like, oh, I'm verbing you, I'm verbing him, they're verbing, you're all verbing me. For me, like that stuff doesn't work in my brain, but it works for so many learners. It works for, it works for so many people that, it, that I know it's a good resources. So, uh, I know it's a good re uh, method. So for, but for me personally, I just like read and just like lock myself in my room and just absorb all the paradigms. Um, but if you follow the Facebook group, I will put it, um, I'll put some links in there anyway to the paradigms. Um, yeah. Put those in there. Yeah. It seems really daunting at first because there's so many. Uh, and it is. Like it, it took me, like when I first went to Ojibwe immersion, I knew like eight or nine at most ways to change a VTA. Yeah. But then the next time I went back, I was pretty comfortable with um, A form and B form, negative, positive for both of them, just by studying the paradigm over and over again, just be beating it into my head. Um, do you have any more questions about dogs, dogs, dicks? Edict, I should say. <laughs> Not, yeah. <clears throat> uh, Miigwech, thank you. I'll look at the link. Hmm. Yeah, thanks, Neve McQuay. Is VTA, VTI, VII, or VAI? Which one is easier to start with? They always say VIIs are the easiest to start with because um, the, like, the ways you can conjugate them are the fewest. There's like 10 different, well, there's like 10 basic ways to conjugate VIIs, like with negative and positive. Um, so that's a good way to start. But I feel like everybody starts with VAIs. So maybe that's what I'd recommend, starting with VAIs. Because then you're getting like, you know, people, talking about people. Where VIIs are just weather and, or are weather and uh, colors and so on. Do 
Yeah, so we talked about aviation today and VTA, VTAs, but there's aviation in every verb type. Um, I remember I wanted to talk about VII aviation as well, because and also including it in the like I'm I'm talking with I'm talking about third person John, and then we're talking about other stuff around him like like you can't in a way it. it Grammatically incorrect to say, like, Micha Obabagawayan, his shirt is big, or you can't say uh, Agasa Obabagawayan, Agasa Ujiman. Like, it grammatically, it, it has to be Agasa ne, Micha ne, Miskwa ne, Miskwa ne wan omakazinan. Like, his moccasins are red, so we're using aviation on VIIs. Um, there always has to be obviation on VIIs when you're talking about somebody's stuff. So I wanted to get into that too, but maybe that's another day. So much to talk about. So little time. Yeah. What? Saina? What? <laughs> yeah, so much. Yeah, that's a whole rabbit hole. Yeah. Michan, one or muck is none. Michane or Josh, his nose is big. So you can like you can say that or you can say uh Mungajane, he's got a big nose, that's a VAI. But anytime you're talking about his or her or their stuff that's directly relevant to them that they're wearing or using or own, you always have to use an obviated VII. Yeah. Yeah, in or in one is uh, plural. So we can say his nose is big. Yeah, you can say that. You can say mechane o Josh. Mechane o Josh. Or some people some dialects say o John. Yeah. Mechane o Josh. Yeah. Mechane. Oh sorry. Yeah. Mechane. Ne. Yeah. Mechane. Yeah. So like Z bean squay uh, put in there. Inne is your aviation. Oh, sorry. Inne is your aviation for VII verbs. However, the initial I will often get replaced by a longer, by a long vowel. So we have the verb mecha, right? And you can't put mecha in it. So that little I gets stomped on by the long vowel A. Eh? becomes machane. If you're talking about like his his shoes, omak is an un the it's a in one or ni one for fourth plural thingies. Yeah. His moccasins. Yeah. So much to talk about. So if you guys don't have any more questions Thanks for coming. It's always fun doing these. Um, you got Gino, a bit bizindo yeg nongo. Begisha young guam is the egg, Mamino a ya yeg. On a ways to go, Corona in up and ing. You got Gino. Yeah. I know with the Moki way, Dangway Mazana Egoning, Gay Douglas Gay Douglas Duyan, in you, links. Yeah. Now, Gay Gawab a minimum, me noah. Yeah, Bamapi. <laughs>